What brings you here? I'm taking a break. Is this about Flane? You find me suspicious. <laughs> I was somewhere else, fighting. Is that a problem? I understand that I don't fit in among the Knights of Saros, but that hardly links me to Flane's disappearance. Hello there. Return soon, please. Hey! Welcome! This one? This one? Thank you. This one? This one? Thank you. 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 Please come again. Hello there. This one, yes? I think 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 this one, yes? I thank you. Return soon, please. Hey, welcome. Come again. Hello there. Return soon, please. Welcome. This one? Thank you. This one? Thank you. Please come again. like this, but it's been a while, so I'm not sure. That smell, mm, it's amazing. My fave, in fact. Do you like it too? Appetizing. This is delicious! My absolute favorite! This looks delicious! Let's eat! Eating delicious food really takes my worries away. to cook. What are we making today? That's so. I have a lot of experience in the kitchen. I can make just about anything. Wow. Hey. 
Oh, you're looking for flames. I there's it at this side. I thank you. Why am I here? I thank you. Oh, this tastes good. Yes. I see. What? Yes. Yes. Wait a minute. Thanks for your hospitality. I hope you'll invite me again sometime. Professor! Hey, Professor, have you seen what? How did you know I lost this? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Hey, Professor. Anyway, I heard something like this happened last year, too. Thank you very much. Excuse me. Thank you very much. Oh, that's delicious. Huh? Oh. Yes. Is that right? Oh. Thanks for the tea. I hope we can do this again. I heard so. I heard so. Professor, would you accept me into your class? I'm sure I would learn so much more if I could study with you. Will you give me that chance? I can? Thank you! You won't regret this. I'm going to give it my all. Professor! Hey! Hey there, Professor. I was thinking it might be nice to join your class. I'm not unhappy where I am, but 
I was just thinking that maybe if I was with you, well, I might learn even more. You're the kind of guy a gal could pay attention to, you know? Oh, yeah? That's great! <laughs> I'm looking forward to spending more time with you, Professor. I can't... Join me for some training sometime. I might like to become your... Professor! Hey! Liking that greatly. Hmm. I like seeing a table full of my favorite dishes. Could I at least persuade you to eat with utensils? Eyes on your own plate. Don't you know it's disrespectful to waste food? Is a revelation. <laughs> I can't help but smile when I eat it. This is so good. Can I have seconds? Appears to be wrong with my throat. Singing with others is a nice change of pace. Usually I do it when I'm alone. Picking wildflowers? Seems such a common activity for someone like you. To me, the most beautiful flower is the one that blossoms by its own strength. Lysithia, please accept this as... Knock it off! Uh, sorry. It's just that the thorns are a bit sharp, and I'm not a fan of killing nature. True sympathy, even for the smallest wildflower. I admire your kindness. When you inherit your house, that kindness will be a balm to your subjects. They and the neighboring lords will trust you instinctively. Politics. Again. The Alliance has been harmed in the past by lords who thought only of themselves, who saw others as a means to an end. But you! You understand others' pain. With you around, I am quite hopeful that the Alliance will flourish again. That's not something you should get your hopes up about. House Ordelia will end with my father. I'm sorry? I understand you have a distaste for politics, but could you really allow a noble house three centuries old to fall to ruin? This goes beyond you and even your house. What would become of Fodlin if all its noble houses withered away in such a manner? The people would be in disarray. 
the balance of power would crumble. Chaos would rule. No, it's just... My body, unfortunately, is not built to last. And I have no siblings. When I die, that's the end. What? Noble birth has been nothing but a source of pain for me. For me, and for my parents. We got sucked into the rebellion in the Empire, and it led to... many responsibilities for us. The things we went through... I can hardly bear to speak of it. All I want now is to give my mother and father the chance to live out their years in peace. I intend to do whatever I can to ease the hardships of our people, while I still have life left in me. Naturally, I worry about what will come to pass after I'm gone. But I'm sure things will work out, so long as there are people like you around working so hard for a better future. So you have been thinking of the future, even despite all of that. I... I am so sorry, I had no idea. Lysithia, I have offended you most persistently. Please, find it in your heart to forgive my impudence. Don't worry about it. If you're so insistent upon being my friend, I'm sure more tasty snacks and tea will help persuade me. But if speaking of the future holds such importance, better to find someone who actually has one. I understand. Yes, let's take tea together again soon. Ignatz? Why are you following me? Oh, I... Can I help you with something? You must be struggling by yourself, Cyril. This is my job. I do it myself. But we could do it so much faster working together. You don't have to. I don't mind. Plus, if we finish early, you can go and do whatever you like. You want to know what I want to do? Sure. Tell me. I'd like to do my assigned work without you pestering me. Oh. Okay. Why are you always so concerned about what I'm doing anyway, Ignatz? It's kind of weird, you know? Wow. It hurts when you put it like that. I've been meaning to ask you about Almira. You always look so busy, but I thought you might talk to me if I helped with your work. There's nothing about Almira worth talking about. But I find it all so fascinating. Please, tell me about the people, the buildings, the flowers. Ooh, any scenery you liked looking at. Nope, never took much time to look at anything. Why do I gotta talk about stuff I don't want to talk about just because you're bored, Ignatz? Even though you endured hardships, there must have been some things you enjoyed. You don't get it. Look, I'm gonna go. Should have done it already. Okay, sorry to bother you. Let me know if I can help. Oh, and I hope we can talk some other time. But there's nothing to talk about. Jeez. What a weirdo. I feel like I get it now. Professor. I thought we did a good job. I think I've got the hang of it. Getting it. One step before the next step. It's all becoming clearer. Haha, <laughs> I'm starting to get it. Looks like I'm getting it.
Thank you. Still no sign of Flane. What should we do, Teach? I'll admit, I'm out of schemes here. Professor! Claude! Something's very wrong! Please, hurry to Professor Yuritsa's room! Yuritsa? Ah, the combat professor with the mask. He has always been rather suspicious. We must hurry. Knock, knock. Is anybody... Whoa! Professor Manuela! I heard a scream coming from here just moments ago. It must have been Professor Manuela. She's unconscious. She was clearly attacked by someone. Hey! It kind of looks like Professor Manuela is... pointing at something. So, we follow where she's pointing, and... Oh, what do we have here? There's a rather suspicious hole behind that shelf. What is the meaning of... Wait, is that Manuela? What happened here? We must take her to the infirmary immediately. You, don't just stand there. Help me carry her. Right, right. Hold down the fort for me, Teach. I'll be back once we get Professor Manuela taken care of. What could have happened here? And where is Professor Yuritsa? This must be related to that girl's disappearance. 
What if she's being held captive down there? Well, no, no, that, I mean, that's crazy, right? Right. It's scary, but... okay. Don't be a coward, Ignatz. We'll be fine, as long as we stick close to the professor. Oh, you're right. What should we do? We've got to investigate. Lead the way, Professor. The culprit could be hiding inside, so let's be extra cautious. Oh, it's way too creepy down here. And it smells funny. And... Ah! A person! They're unconscious. Yes! It's Flane! Oh, but there's someone else, too. Someone is coming. That scythe. Could it be the night we fought at the Holy Mausoleum? That sword. You must be. One of us will die. The other will live. I will enjoy this dance of damnation. My thank you so much. I am grateful. Thank you so much. Professor, we need to defeat the Death Knight and then rescue Flame. Hmm, look at that strange tile over there. I bet something will happen if you step on it. Let's get to it.
stay focused. I will get the victory. I stand ready. I got this. I thank you. Ready anytime. That helps. I am Ferdinand von Eyre. Who, me? A trivial victory. Another one down. Try even harder next time.
appreciated. Contraptions on the floor. Now you know. Plenty more where that came from. Muscles proud. knows what'll happen. So you have come. I'll make sure you never leave. Oh, my God. 
Takes care of that. Gotta keep improving. Favorite part. One more success. tougher. That helps. I feel like I get it now. Back to the fray. Thank you. 
Nobles must be strong. I guess I feel a little stronger. my own strength. Thank you. 
appreciate it. Hey, bud. Harder. Kill them. Halt, you're having a bit too much fun. You are getting in the way of my game. Huh. You'll have more opportunities to play soon. Your work here is done. Understood. I will go. We will cross paths again. I am the Flame Emperor. It is I who will reforge the world. Flame Emperor, eh? Seemed quite frightened of us, if you ask me. <laughs> He's gone. We should get these two out of here. Let's get out of this horrible place. Come on, we can carry them up. They're both alive. Thank goodness. You actually found Flane? Nice work. It is a shame you could not be there, Claude. I would have liked for you to witness our mortal struggle against the Death Knight. Hey, at least we managed to rescue Flane and complete our mission. That's what counts, right? Right. Excellent work, everyone. Now then, let's get these limp ladies to the infirmary, shall we? No problem. I can carry them both at once. Be gentle with them, Raphael. Let us carry each one individually, and slowly. You know, Teach, seeing you smile sure makes me feel better. You look happy for a change. Hmm? Do you really not know? Well, truth is, I've never seen you smile before now. At times, it made me wonder whether you were even human. But I suppose that was just my imagination running wild. Anyhow, we've probably kept Sedith waiting about as long as he can stand. Let's hurry up and tell him the great news. Professor, please allow me to express my eternal gratitude once more. Flane is safe and sound, and I have you to thank for that. Mere words could never express how thankful I am. I... I am indebted to you. Yes, indeed. I... I too am overjoyed. Her kidnapper was the Masked Knight who vanished during the Rite of Rebirth. The one known as the Death Knight. Considering the circumstances, it seems plausible to assume that his true identity is Yuritsa. And we cannot forget about the mysterious Flame Emperor. His true motives are yet unclear. However, I have an idea. I believe the enemy may have been after Flane's blood. The blood that flows through her veins is special. It is extremely rare. And extremely dangerous. If enemies who know the secrets of Flane's blood have appeared, our only option is to leave the monastery and go into hiding. Brother, wait. Flane, what are you doing here? You should be resting. I do not like the path of your thoughts. I do not wish to live in some lonely, remote location where I never get to see anyone. Not ever again. If we stay here, you may be targeted again. Wouldn't it be better for the two of us to live in peace? Even if we ran off to some new, secret location, there is no guarantee that they would not find us. That is why I believe it would be safest to stay in the monastery where we are surrounded by capable knights and professors. I see your point. I do. 
However... It... You know it is the only reasonable option. What if I were to join the professor's class? You think so too? I am so very pleased to hear that. With a professor like you nearby, I shall be safe no matter what foe should appear. I see. I am afraid you have a good point. Professor, due to my position, I have closely scrutinized everything about you. After all that has happened, I must admit that you are indeed a trusted ally. So what say you? Can I entrust you with Flame's safety? I am so glad that Flame is safe, yet I can't help but wonder what the story is about that other girl. She wore the uniform of the Academy, but who is she? Well done, Professor. I see that I was right to ask your class for assistance. I have been told that Manuela and Flane are recovering nicely, as is Monica. Monica, the girl you rescued along with Flane, is also a student of the Officer's Academy. However... She is a student from last year's class. She went missing just before she would have graduated. It never occurred to us that something might have happened to her at the monastery. We assumed she had run away. I never dreamed that we would find her. Not like this. Monica has asked to rejoin the Black Eagle House once she has fully recovered. Our enemies are still out there, so we must remain cautious and continue our investigation. However, we must also help the students to move on from this incident. After all, the Battle of the Eagle and Lion will be held in Grander Field next month. Yes, the students will remember it for the rest of their lives. Please guide them so that they may show us their best at the coming battle. So, you'll be going to Grander Field next month. You've never been there before, have you? There is unease in the western side of the Empire, but everything east of the capital, Anvar, is stable. Well, there was a noble rebellion a short while ago, but it didn't amount to much. Sorry, but I've got my own mission, and it's far from Grander Field. The Church has always been quick to make use of those who work for them. What I'm more concerned about is finding out who among us is pulling the strings. Ever since the Rite of Rebirth, Strange groups have been seen around Garrig Mach and elsewhere, too. There was also an incident where some knights investigating these suspicious strangers turned up dead. Not that it's likely, but if something like that ever happens to me, search this room, every corner, behind every shelf. I'm going to leave something for you. Don't just nod solemnly. There's nothing to worry about. I'm just being cautious. Then again, I guess you're always solemn. Part 1. White Clouds. Wyvern Moon. Field of the Eagle and Lion. From on high, flocks of wyverns roar in chorus and soar the pristine skies, heading south for the winter. Fotland's children lend their hands to winter preparations by gathering firewood and catching fish from the river's cool waters. Yet all the while, their gazes are turned skyward, drawn to the magnificent sight above. Bye. 
It's finally time. The Battle of the Eagle and Lion at Grander Field is this month. Don't tell me you forgot, Teach. You're kidding. Didn't Rayo or Sedith fill you in? Guess I have to do everything myself around here. The Battle of the Eagle and Lion is one of the Academy's annual traditions. It's a huge mock battle between the three rival houses. But you know all about rivalry battles, Professor. There was one right after you got here, remember? I hear the Battle of the Eagle and Lion will be held in Grander Field, far away from Garrig Mach. The house that defeats the most opponents wins. It's a three-way battle that relies heavily on strategy. Sounds exciting, doesn't it? Hey, Claude, what about Professor Manuela? Do you think she'll be able to join us despite her injuries? I'm afraid she's sitting this one out, as is Professor Hanneman. As my persistent rival will not be present, it only goes to follow that I must also sit out this year's battle. Now leave me be, Claude. Oh, don't worry about us. You know you want to see the kids in action. If it isn't our own Professor Manuela, all things considered, you're looking well. Thanks to all of you. But I'd only be a burden out there. My students don't need to see me collapsed. Well, not on the battlefield anyway. Does that mean you really won't be joining us for the battle? Correct. We will not be participating. Regardless, do not expect victory to come easily, or at all. Well put. We've spent the past few months pushing our students to their limits. You can see me in the infirmary after they destroy you. Oh my, look at you! If you're as confident as all that, my students will walk all over you. We have taught our students well. There is no need to hold back. Challenge them with everything you have. Thank you. 
When are you gonna teach me magic? Is now good? Why do I have to? Why? Because you're way better at it than me, silly. Is that so? I thought you were something of an honor student at the School of Sorcery. Well, sure, but I wouldn't say I've got any kind of natural talent for it. I'm gonna have to try very hard to become as good of a mage as you are. What is that supposed to mean? Are you implying that I don't work hard too? If you think my skills are inherent, you are sorely mistaken. No, I wasn't saying that at all. Everyone knows how hard you work. I just meant that if I want to be as good as you, I'll have to work really incredibly hard. Hmm. And what is it you want to learn about? Oh, so you'll teach me? Thank you so much! Um, actually... Oh, I get it now. I never thought about it that way before. Look at how quickly you're picking this up. You're clearly very skilled already. Don't be silly. You're just that good of a teacher. Your way of looking at the world is so fundamentally different from mine. Do you insist on taking the conversation in that direction? Oh no, I'm sorry. I wasn't doing that. There I go saying the wrong thing again. It's fine. Let's just drop it. A bit more self-confidence would go a long way for you, Annette. Huh? That's all I've got for you today. I need to get going now. Lots to do. Oh, I'm so sorry to take up your time. Thanks again for teaching me. Thank <laughs> you.